and totally. you actually have to become comfortable not being the best yeah. right on your team in that area which is a weird thing when you're someone who has done a lot of things and even have the capacity to be really really great at it however you're saying i'm going to be great at this and that's a discipline right because this is my role i'm going to be a monster in this spot so i need to find somebody who has the capacity to be great in that spot and let them surpass me so i don't have to focus on that at all because if i get somebody who's not as good as me right right now i'm just looking over my shoulder trying to correct them and now they're a headache you get what I mean? yeah yeah 100 <laughs> delegation is very very tough um especially when you don't trust the people that you work with mm-hmm. and there i've you know i i know of cases where i work with people and they don't deliver anywhere close to like satisfactory um and then the question is like do i you know i've i've, I've had an example where like you know i'm working with a videographer person falls through i'm like you know what i'm just gonna put together my own music video like I've had to do that. I've had to be like, hey, I'm going to, you know, this person offers to help with reaching out to media, you know, does a subpar job. I'm like, whatever, I'll do it myself. And, you know, triple up, quadruple up over whatever they were able to do, right? Like I've been in those situations, but I've also been in situations where like hand something off to somebody and then they kill it. They like create something that I would have never even thought to do because they they are 100% focused, they're determined, they're willing. And that so it's beautiful. Right? And so you can't you can't let the it's like basketball, you know what I mean? Like if you're going to be a ball hog because you don't trust your teammates, I mean at the end of the day you're just going to exhaust yourself out, right? Yep. Uh you have to let your other team try. Uh of course there's like a whole pre-team process of like choosing your teammates, so you would hope that the people that you've cho- chosen, you've vetted them out already. But then after you've vetted them out, like, let them shoot the ball. If they miss, they miss. Once they make it, you celebrate them making it, right? You, yeah. If you are in a coach position, you help them get better, and you just play the game. Like, you're, mm. I, it's not like I make every shot that I take. So True. I should treat that same level of mercy and grace with my team members getting there instead of being like, oh, I'm going to do it. Because at the end of the day, especially if you're in a, a growing business, like if your business is really growing, um, then sure, like celebrate the work that you've done. But now that means that your responsibility is not just to grow it by yourself, but to bring other people with you that also believe in your mission, that believe in you because you've invested in yourself. And to go back to what you were saying earlier, like don't, don't ask for people to invest in you too early. Like if you haven't even shown that you can invest in yourself and make something happen. Like it's yeah. a lot, like you can't blame people for being like, hey, that looks dope. I want to be a part of it. It's not necessarily just because they want the shiny object, although a lot of people do, but it's more like, hey, I see Sean's commitment in what he's done, what he's built for himself. I want to be a part of that. I want to see how I can enable that to grow even further by leveraging whatever skills and experiences that I have and bring that to the table. Like people get attracted to want to hire or sorry, to interview for a company because they've seen what other people have done for that company already. And so you Mm -hmm. have to be that person and invite that. Like it should be a blessing and be like, hey, I need more people. Oh, but I've like proven something is dope enough that other people actually want to come. So that's, that's where I'm at where it's like, okay, let me like talk to these people and I'm like getting the team together right now.